title of this speech is Staying Calm Under Pressure. Staying Calm Under Pressure. Everybody, please give a big round of applause for Cadet Federica. Thank you. Good luck. Have you ever been scuba diving or ever wanted to go scuba diving? Imagine. You donned this strange gear from a mask, your snorkel, your wetsuit, you got your scuba booties, fins, a BCD and regulator, and of course that big old 80 tank on your back. And you descend into water, an element that we weren't made for, yet those, for many of us, call it home. We descend down into this water and all of a sudden it's as if everyone shut out the light. You can't see, and it continues to get darker and darker and darker until I finally find that bottom, and I've been on night dives where I could see better. Yet, I'm down in this dark muck in search of something very small and, for many of you, insignificant, and I know may have hit it in the water a time or two. I'm in search for white gold, this tiny little golf ball. Who would have thought? So I'm down there, I'm searching, I'm looking through, I'm looking through that water, and I come across something that doesn't quite feel like a golf ball. It's quite large, bigger than I am, a little scaly. I feel it, keep working my way up. I had just come across a 12-foot alligator in the bottom of this lake, all in search of this. Now, life gives us many pressures, many things from marriage, school, searching for a job after school. Who knows what life is going to throw at you? But with all these pressures, it's how we thrive and how we can react under these pressures that will make or break us. For instance, Another aspect of scuba diving for me is that I'm a public safety diver. A public safety diver gets to work with law enforcement, fire department, EMTs, and sometimes the Coast Guard in order to do things like vehicle recovery, weapon recovery, and even a body recovery from a time or two. So on my first body recovery ever, I get called in. They had already been in the water for about eight hours at this point. We had found the car. We're down there in South Florida, mind you. That's how I have so much experience with these gators and diving, right? We're down there in this water, and my dive partner is the fire chief, all right? So not only does he put a little bit of pressure on me, but you can hear the family on the side waiting for hopefully someone to find their loved one in that water. So we're down there. We're doing a search pattern. Another grueling four hours goes by, and yet no body is found. We switch our tanks out, we get back in that water, and we continue to search. We widened our search pattern. We went to the far bank where we didn't even see the car enter the water off this bridge, and then we swept it all the way across. At the end of another grueling four hours, we were thankful enough that we were able to give this family closure because me and my dive partner Fire chief found that body. We pulled it, we bagged it under the water, we brought it out, and that was it. Mission success. Again, being able to thrive under pressure was why I was able to do my job and get that task done. However, on a completely other side of diving, you can do recreational things. My personal favorite, Spear fishing. Instead of being on top of the water, you're in the water and you're hunting for that fish, right? You're searching for them. You're swimming through the water. You're the predator, or so you think. <laughs> so I'm down there in this water. I've got two beautiful sheep's head on my stringer. That's a nice little striped fish, also known as jail fish. You know, they got the little stripes on the side there looking for them. So I got two on my stringer here, and I'm lining up a third shot upside down in this water, ready to go when all of a sudden, wham, out of nowhere, my whole arm, stringer, and the fish are inside a mouth of a five to 
600 pound Goliath grouper, an apex predator. Now, don't worry, he doesn't have big sharp teeth. I wasn't worried about losing my arm. I thought he might break it with how strong that fish is. Yet I was trying to get my fish back and not lose my spear gun and fight him. So I was up here at about 15 feet of water and this fish is just dragging me down, drags me down to about 40 feet of water. By the time I was able to get my arm free, in the process losing my fish, yet through my training and how many times I've been in the water, I knew this could have been a situation I could have been put in at some point in time, especially when you're down there shooting a lot of fish. Now I did lose the fish, but because of my training, I was able to save myself and my arm, right? So imagine now, we're back in that wonderful gulf pond, and I had just come across this 12-foot alligator. Now, when I had reached it, it was about at its hind legs, and then I continued to try and estimate how big it was, move my way towards the front of this animal. As I moved my way towards the front, I could tell I had reached the front. <laughs> now, this is in pitch black, mind you. It's like I went like this and just said, hey, there he is, right? <laughs> so at the same time, I'm in this water with this 12-foot beast looking for white gold. He gets up, moves on out, and I continue to yet again do my job, all right? These balls go for about a dollar per pop, sometimes three to four, all right? And that day, I was determined to make my quota, which was a thousand. Not a bad summer gig to have down in South Florida. So when life puts you under pressures, it's how you can react to these and thrive under these pressures that will define who you are and what will become of you in life. It's, for some of you, it may be standing up here and giving a speech. For others, it may be scuba diving. Go out, find that pressure, and thrive in it. Thank you.